Hey, curl friends, and welcome back. So if y'all missed yesterday's stream, I'm on here barefaced and all, y'all. But if you missed yesterday's stream, I did some Fulani braids with y'all. I finished out this right side off camera, and we're almost done. I just got to do the back now. So we have this little middle part situation going on here. These braids are wrapping towards the back, and then I'm doing little box braids in the back of my head. So yeah, off camera, this really just took me like an hour and a half or so. Yesterday, I think it took us like a two and a half almost three hours <laughs> messing with like my dead battery and stuff but we should get this done in about an hour and a half or so give or take but i'm gonna just hang out with y'all keep the stream going i know y'all don't really talk much i know y'all in here just hanging out so i'm gonna just vibe out with y'all and finish out my hair i'm still using the same braiding hair i um i'm making it a little thicker the strands of hair is a little bit thicker than yesterday because I'm doing the box braids in the back. I'll make them like medium size. They're not going to be super, super large, but they're not going to be super small either. I'm going to be glancing at the chat while y'all in here. Y'all can say hello, ask any questions that y'all have or anything. I am reading the chat, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this out. And y'all already know my hair is already tangled up. So I got to detangle and separate and everything. And to detangle, I'm using the Taylor Beauty Moisture Mist still, and just a little paddle brush. Oh, you're back, Naima. Hey, Naima. Thank you so much. Girl, I was like, it took so long yesterday for me to get that left side done, but I got it done like an hour and a half off camera. <laughs> I actually did it first thing this morning. But I can't wait to get this whole thing done so I can wake up with fresh hair tomorrow. Don't have to touch my head tomorrow. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> but how are you today? And I just went ahead and parted my hair straight down the middle to make this easier. I'm going to do the left side and the right side. Y'all already know. But we're going for some medium size plaits. Hey, Rayanna, your name is actually spelled ex almost exactly like mine. That's beautiful. How are you?
Y'all don't be judging my parts now. I can't see back there. <laughs> no problem, Naima. And thanks for checking her out. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, you already. I didn't know you was on here, Mom. <laughs> Is that Seely? I hope I said that right. I think that's Seely. Thank you so much. How are you? And y'all know I'm still using that jam. Still using the jam. And I told y'all we're using medium sized braiding hair.
straight. Look at the back. <laughs> it's not straight. <laughs> over here, but not over here. Oh, okay. Y'all don't be laughing at my parts now. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I feel like you're done in my part. Does it match the bottom ones? No, I'm saying like the size. Come on. No. You're saying no all day. Sitting with my girlfriend, right in my oh. Purple and pink. <laughs> pink. Talk about mine. Okay. <laughs> oh, baby. Mama. Oh, the sound is going in and out. I have the um, this mic arm stand thing. So when I turn around, y'all probably can't hear me too good. I need to get a, a like a mobile mic or something. Oh, that's Marquita that said that. Hey, Marquita. She said, hey, mama. Mm -hmm. I was just talking about you earlier today. I said, I need to go check out her, um, her channel, see if she's still uploading. I don't even be on the natural hair side no more. Thanks, mama. Come talk to them, ma. Huh? Talk to them. Y'all, she thinks she's somebody today because she said her twist out came out right. <laughs> you got to get on the mic part. Um, I'm going to say Okay. Okay. Hey, stranger.
You know, she just hating on my um twist out. See, mommy's bomb. No, that's Mark. Oh, that's Pam. Hey, Pam. No, you don't miss us. You've been gone <laughs> since last year. You've been gone. Who is that? Mark Eater. Hello. I'm doing good, Pam. Thanks. Yeah. She's still dying laughing. I was literally just talking about her. Mm -hmm. I know I'm just. When you started to talking to you. Uh, I did like an hour and a half off stream, and then however long, how long we been on here? Twenty minutes. So probably like almost two hours, because I had to finish up this right side, and then I'm doing these back parts with y'all. Thanks, Marquita. I'm trying. <laughs> I know my part's probably not uh, <laughs> the straightest. <laughs> it is? Mm -hmm. It don't feel like it. Like, this one don't. Pick up here. That's all. I don't know about it. I mean, this is going to cover around here. Come say yes, they are. Thanks. The LOL, nah, you good, boo. <laughs> Mark Eater. What has she been up? Mark Eater. Where have you been, Mark Eater? Oh, Lord. Uploading and chilling and doing her yoga and stuff. Sorry, that yoga. 
What you wanna tell us? Hmm? Okay. And working. Them songs? No, those are. But you know, y'all know them songs, and they be having like people moaning and stuff. That was one of them songs. <laughs> then Fred and to tell us that we not family friendly or something. This our royalty free playlist. <laughs> I'm pretty straight. I'm almost done. Is that bad? Whenever you come back, you can separate us from our hair. I'm racing. That's right, huh? Mama, um... I want to open a salon, but I probably won't work it. Like, I, that's why I'm starting with the products. I'm, I'm trying to work on a natural hair product, but it's a lot of um, papers. Yeah, basically, like insurance and then um, like the business license, making sure everything's like appropriate and stuff. So I'm trying to do that first through the product and then um eventually open like a salon and have everybody else using those products in the salon kind of like what paul mitchell did because that's where i went to hair school they had their own product line we just learned on all their products so i really want to have my own product line so they use my products in the salon but i don't think i could work no salon i don't like clients like that people are so picky they will have you like redoing hair all day long like i just don't have the patience i like doing this with y'all and more so like the teaching side and like um that's pretty much it, right? <laughs> like, I, I think I'm more of, like, a teacher than actually doing, like, the same blowouts, the same twist outs all the time. If I did anything like that, it would be, like, styling, like, on a set or something, like a music video or something. But that's not my thing. <laughs> oh, y'all said I'm moving pretty fast today? I think it's because I'm in the back. Like, I'm kind of glancing at y'all comments, and I don't have this mic in the way like I did yesterday. I'm going to have to skip some of these songs. They're driving me crazy.
Because I'm turning this way. I didn't realize I could just flip the mic this way. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a long process, Marquita. Oh my gosh. They have so much, like, for instance, like, I w like the natural hair product. I have all my formulas. Like, I have exactly what I want. I know what works with what. But, yeah, I've already tried it. It works. Even mom uses it all the time. But as far as, like, putting it on a, I don't want to put it on a shelf. Like, I think about that all the time, too. Like, putting it on a Walmart shelf, you have to have, like, a certain shelf life. It has to last, like, a few months. The only way to make a natural hair product last a certain amount of months is, like, using preservatives. And I don't want to do stuff like that. So, it just, it's so much. <laughs> but I'm definitely working on it. It's just the money part that's, like, super, super hard. But in the meantime, I feel like I'm just kind of building my audience on here for whenever I am ready. And everything falls through. Yeah, girl. People are so picky. I hated that in hair school. I used to legit run away from clients. <laughs> I hated that. And then people don't tip. Like, it's... No. <laughs> Especially in hair school. Like, they will bring us clients. They have, like, the little TWA. You think they don't have no kind of hair. They come back there, they say, oh, all I want is a blowout. In hair school, it only costs $25 for a blowout. They will come there, get the blowout. I blow their hair out. When I'm at the wash bowl, their hair is like mid-back length. By the time I go ahead and like straighten and everything, it's like waist length. They pay $25 for the day. We don't even get paid any money at all. It's just like teaching, so it's like free. <laughs> Since we're not getting no money, and they won't even like tip at all. I'm like, I can't be breaking my back like that. That's too physically demanding. Or people don't show up for appointments and they complain about deposits when it's really just like to cover yourself because they, you know, cancel or waste your time. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I hope so, mama. I'm going to try. I think I got some dope ideas. It's just the money part. <laughs> but I think it'll be kind of cool. Like, And I have all my tutorials out there of like how I like things done and stuff. It'll be easy to train people. And I know exactly where to get people to booth rent and stuff from. Be some easy money. Y'all know I don't like no active money. <laughs> I like my little passive money. Have them work the salon and make my money. <laughs> I swear I was running away. They used to come looking for me like no. And then I was like. There was a couple girls that, that knew a little bit about natural hair. But most of them were like weave girls or relaxed girls. And they'd be like, oh, Rayanne knows how to, like, on the menu, I think we had, like, blowouts and then, like, color st services. They didn't have no natural hair services, no twist outs, nothing. They didn't even teach us about twist outs. I was teaching my teachers about twist outs and stuff. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh, yeah, we offer it. Rayanne, you want to do a twist out? Like, no. <laughs> To put the product out Ugh. anywhere from like ten to twenty thousand. It just depends. I'm looking at some um factories, but I don't know. Like I could do it small, small scale, but I don't know if like the preservative side putting chemicals in there and stuff i want to like weigh my options and stuff on that but like just getting like a chemist on board and stuff that's gonna cost some good money oh yeah 
They don't believe in tipping. And then now when a lot of stylists, I don't know if y'all realize a lot of stylists, they, they charge a lot more now for styles. And it's not because, you know, they want to just charge more for hairstyles. They're kind of starting to incorporate their tip in the price of the hairstyle because they know that they're not going to get tipped. <laughs> That is so physically demanding. I remember my first day of hair school, I was like, am I in the right profession? Like, <laughs> my teacher came in there. She's telling us about how her fingerprint is gone. But she didn't wear gloves when she was doing hair color. And I guess, like, the bleach and stuff, like, bleached out her fingerprint from doing so much color throughout the years. Another teacher was talking about her back pain and how, you know, she goes to the masseuse at least once a week. Or the other one is, like, once a month. <laughs> Because of all the back problems. I'm like, I don't know about this. No 401k plan. You working for yourself. I can't be messing up my body this young. Oh, yeah. I felt so gypped. Because I talked to him about that, too, in my little um, orientation. Not orientation. When they give you the tour of the school, I was like, oh, do y'all do natural hair here? They're like, yeah. <laughs> they didn't teach us much about natural hair they taught us that hair is hair and i don't believe hair is hair hair is definitely hair but there's different techniques for different types of hair and our hair is different a lot different oh yeah it's super expensive to put a product out I was just watching Jeffree Star. I know that he got a lot of like racial stuff going on around him, but I love his stuff. He was talking about it cost. How much did he say? More like a, a million or something? A million dollars to put out his product line, his um makeup palette. It's so expensive. <laughs> so, so expensive. And then all the tax stuff, the EIN numbers, putting all that stuff together. And that's not something that you can kind of do janky and be like, you know, I'm going to just run it like real small. Because you got to think of like people getting allergic reactions and trying to sue you for it and stuff. That's something I wouldn't even really mess with trying to do low key. Yeah, the insurance, all of that type of stuff. Sponsors for new businesses. Yeah, they have like those um, investor people, but they want a part of your business. I don't want to do it that way. No, she said, aren't there people that sponsor, but they usually want a piece of the pie. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Right. Yeah, girl, her whole fingerprint was gone. Her whole fingerprint but she does it all the time like i saw that on our first day she told us about that and i saw her doing clients she always does everything wrong like <laughs> she always talking about her back she be bending down all crazy pumping up them clients and them chairs that are super super heavy <laughs> she never wore gloves like at all even when she was teaching us she never really took none of the precautions Okay, I'm going to be here for a minute. I'm going to finish up this whole back with y'all. <laughs> she said a million. <laughs> exactly. I'm definitely putting it together. But a salon would be dope. There's so much money to be made with a salon, y'all. Oh, my gosh. And you don't, if, if you wanted to start one, mama, you could. Pretty much anybody could start a salon. I always say that you had to have a license. But for a salon, you just need that business license. And then everybody pays booth rent. They make so much money. I remember I was going to work with this one lady with her salon. And she was going to charge me booth rent. You pay for that weekly. It could be anywhere from like 100, 200. It just depends. Um, we have to put it on the water bill, the electricity. Um, she was offering to like restock products for us so we don't have to like bring in products. She was going to charge me $45 to do my laundry. 
um think of like hair color and stuff when you have the what's it called the towels and stuff she was offering to have laundry there that we could use that was a service fee like you can make so much money <laughs> and i think she could hold like six six dollars in her salon it was a really really small salon and each of them paying you like 200 to 500 dollars a week in booth rent it's so much money to be made in a salon I know for a fact up here is not right. Why are you sitting down? No, I know. Never mind. I'm going to just finesse it. This part. I think I fixed it. I don't know. I think I fixed it, y'all. I'm going to pray you never know what can happen. Most definitely. That's good there. I think I fixed it, right? Yeah, that's where I fixed it. <laughs> it needs to be fixed. Thanks, mama. Yeah, I've been praying on it. I'm like, I want to do it so bad. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to just start with what I have, you know? So what I, you know, what I can't afford to do now is just like buy the ingredients and keep testing formulas and stuff. Keep trying it on my hair. So at least, you know, when the money does come, I'm not worried about, you know, what products do I need? I don't even have a formula. At least I have, you know, I could kind of work with what I have now. And then when the money comes along, I could just get all my paperwork stuff together. But right now, I just feel like we like in a testing phase. So we've been using it for what, like a year, mom? I think, yes, maybe oh, about two year. years. This year would be about two years. Mm -hmm. I've been using it on her and on me, and it's been working. Yeah, y'all keep talking about her hair growing is that product. Hey, Miss Felicia. Me too. I'm good here or make it bigger. I think it's every time I try to use this. Um, what you call? We just hanging on out, finishing up these braids. I started yesterday, but I didn't finish. <laughs> I went, took me a little eating break, and then we just what did we do yesterday? We was just chilling yesterday, <laughs> playing games and stuff. So I'm just trying to finish this up on stream with y'all. She always been talking about that, too. I do remember that. Miss Pan, she said, this is my dream business restaurant with a cafe and play area. Remember, she always been talking about that. Catered to the community. It's much easier in Missouri, though. Oh, yeah. I feel like, yeah, mom said that she think um, Missouri is a little easier than here. Because we got all, like, the county stuff, and oh, my gosh. For our county alone, like, they was trying to get me to register our businesses. And what they say, two 250 for the license? I'm like, I work from home. Like, what do I need to <laughs> – I don't understand. I'm not selling nothing to the public. I'm doing videos. Like, y'all crazy. You have to – you went to um cooking school, right, Mama? I think she did, right? Or you was talking about going? I remember something with culinary. Hey, Ren Ren. Ooh, ooh, y'all heard that. <laughs> she said she wants to also cater to the community. With a part for people to haircut and styles in the back area to play sports. Yeah, that'd be dope. And y'all have all like the um well Missouri has a lot of like them shopping areas too. 
that you could do something like that. No, I always told mom that. No, Mom said you could do it on wheels. Well, no, but she went. True. Oh, that'd be smart. She said do it at the games and stuff. I told you she went to culinary. I knew I remember. Oh. She went at the art institute. Did you like it? I'm trying to get mom to go. You know, with her health and stuff, she she has her nursing stuff and everything going. But I feel like this is her time of like transition into like the things that she's always wanted to do. That's not as physically demanding, you know. She's been wanting to go to um, culinary art school, but. See, my memory's not too off. A bed and breakfast with the kids. Yeah, that'll be dope too. You got some good ideas. Yeah, stuff is so cheap out there too. Oh, yeah. And you got the the experience and everything. See, I'm telling y'all, we all have amazing ideas. I don't know what be stop stopping us. She wants to open a food pantry. She said you should, but with times may get down. I'd rather te self teach. You talking about instead of like instead of going to the art institute? But it'll be kind of cool just to get. So you mean like so she should she go to the school or do you think she's better off with like um taking classes from people? You know, because you might be better off with like them culinary classes. You know, like how they be doing like those weekend seminars and stuff. That's what I tell everybody that asks me about hair school. I'd be like, if you're gonna, if you want to learn about natural hair, don't go to hair school. If you want to work in a salon professionally, you have to go. But if you want to know about like wigs and weaves, they're not gonna teach you that. Just go to the, you know, webinars. No webinars. The um little seminars they be having on the weekends. She says she wants to learn baking and stuff. I think you can open a restaurant, though, mom, legally without a food license. But you just can't work it, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, I have to hire my chefs. Your braids are looking amazing and cute, girl. I can tell some of Thank you, Miss Felicia. See, I remember some of y'all in the comments. Y'all be popping up in the comments often. You said the kitchen get hot fast. Oh, oh, Lord. You know, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> she said they better have AC. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely. I think she just wants to go for like, um, like extra experience, you know? She said the Food Network people are self taught. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said do the classes. Like she said take the small classes. That's what I'm thinking too. A lot of those things, college in general, a lot of <laughs> this stuff, if you don't need like an actual degree or like a license, you could learn most of that stuff on your own. And it probably come out to a lot less. And she wanted to finish up or nursing but she can't i don't i don't know if she'll ever really be able to work it you know full time again full fledged <laughs> yeah you totally should i remember you talking about it too but she said that'll be real nice make a little food truck and then you pull up at them games and stuff. Oh, that's cute.
But those little shopping areas, they have one in Missouri. I'm trying to think. Like a whole entire shopping area. Like it used to be a Burlington. They had restaurants there before. Like the whole thing is abandoned. It was super cheap right before we left. Yeah, they had a Kmart. Like all of that shut down. The whole thing was just abandoned. And they were selling it for cheap. I was like, somebody could make an entire, like own every business in the shopping center. Get them a little restaurant, hair salon, some little clothing stores. I'm mixing hair somewhere. Yeah, y'all have all of them too. She said Craigslist. She was telling Rod. Yeah, mom said the restaurant's always giving away free stuff when they closing down. But Missouri definitely got all them food trucks. Mm-hmm. And y'all handy. Painted and everything. And just start slow. I think that food truck would be an easy way to ease in. Yeah. But they had that permit stuff. <laughs> but the food permits is not that bad for food trucks. I think it'd be like two something for the day, right? I really hope this lasts me a um a cool little three weeks to a month. <laughs> I know. Mom said I tried it. I really hope it does. No, yeah. She said I sleep too wild. <laughs> now that's the truth for real. Because my bonnet came off last night. I was like, oh no. Oh, they work at Pizza Hut? Oh, no, I haven't heard of them. Brooklyn! How are you, Brooklyn? Okay, bye, Naima. Thank you for joining. My ever so faithful. And thank you for keeping me company <laughs> for these past two days. See you later. I'm going to have to look at that book. I've been watching all them. Um, They have like a YouTube channel that talks all about food trucks. Like, they just interview a whole bunch of um, families that own food trucks. I'm great, Brooklyn. Just trying to finish this on out. I was thinking about streaming on the gaming channel later, but I said, you know what? I'm going to calm down because I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to just finish this out because I got a super long, well, we have a super long week next week. Plus the streams and stuff. I'm just trying to finish it on out and then relax the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, she, oh, Brooklyn, she said to tell you that she was going to go live earlier, but I told her not to. I didn't tell her not to, though. 
I told her the time might be a little different because most people were at church and stuff. She'd be up at the crack of dawn. But mama, if you did the um, the food truck or restaurant, you could have people like that same Dame Drops, had them come down there, try out the food and stuff, do YouTube videos. Oh no, Miss Pam. Ooh, my little leg giving out. Thanks, Annabelle, and thank you for supporting this channel, too. How are you? I didn't even know you was in here. My cousin sent me a thing, Uni Place. What's that? Oh, they're hiring a pizza. What? A pizza taste tester for a thousand? Read the chat. She said she don't know if she spelled it right. I think I'm slipping this one out. Hold up. Look, I think I got too excited when you said a thousand dollars for a pizza te <laughs> taste tester. Yeah, I made this one too big. I'm slipping. Yeah, I never heard of there. I be seeing a little stuff on Facebook though when they be like, um, they're looking for um people to come review restaurants and stuff. They already know. It's the best marketing. I hope you win. Yeah, I'm reading them. I see it now. Mine's scrolling sm um, slow. He'll be, I don't think he'll be that rough with you, though. We talking about Dane Drops. I told her she'd get the food truck to have Dane Drops come. Check out her food for promo. Yeah, I think people like stuff like that, though. If Even if he did have something bad to say. They like when you're, like, raw. Yeah, they like that. It sounds crazy, but they do. Hey, Miss Emmy. Thank you so much. Yeah, and then you could take that and improve, too. Yeah. I think he just be harsh with like them major corporations because he know they don't care. Like whether he complain about it or not, they don't care. That's why he'd be like, this is boo boo the fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just got a, the notification now? Oh, we haven't been on here too long. I popped on yesterday. I know it was like a... <laughs> early saturday but yeah we just finishing on out i did the front with everybody yesterday we're just gonna finish oh look brooklyn says she got a headache any recommendations i'm the worst for that i get bad sa um, sinus headaches huh mom said tylenol 
Now, you know, my home remedy would be water. <laughs> water and massage your temples. Right where it's hurting, just massage it on out. That's me. Y'all know I don't do no medicines. Mom said, have you been drinking water? Enough water. Oh, you have to do a video. So what is it like? A, they send you something to make the pizza with? Or you just make a pizza in general, send it in? When I got my Fulani braids, they look nothing like that. Oh, thank you, Annabelle. Like, this is my first time doing them, though. <laughs> this is my first time doing them. They look so pretty. I love when the girls put jewels and stuff, but I feel like with all of these colors, I, th I think I have enough going on. <laughs> but I was going to put some jewels on mine, too. The one that I'm doing? Yeah. Um, where's the comb? Oh. <laughs> Y'all, she said my last part is off. A thousand dollars to taste some food. I'm still um shook on that. To taste some pizza. What you need me to turn this way? Yeah. Two she says she makes sure to drink two liters of water day and then you had a stressful week too mama she's in um in college i mean in school i think college right am i wrong or just school one of them is in college it's so many of y'all in school there's one in college and one in high school I think that's yeah she's in college see my memory is good so ordinary is the one that's in high school high school yeah high school getting in trouble <laughs> oh you just make it and send it in where is that mom she says it every day I don't know where that is the name sounds familiar is it Carrasso Where is that, Miss um, Emmy? Islands. It's the islands. It sounds so familiar. Like I feel like I've seen it. Like I feel like I've seen it on my DNA thing or something. I've seen that name before. <gasps> it sounds like it's probably beautiful out there if it's the islands. She said when we'll be coming visit. I would hope soon. Our goal is next year. <laughs> That's the goal. We'll be have just like recovery stuff for mom to handle square off <laughs> by the end of this year and hopefully next year so we literally have i want to say almost no family in america we really want to see everybody Oh, kisses and hugs from America, I guess. <laughs> we so ready to go. Thanks, Miss Chandra. And thanks for tuning in. How are you? Oh, you love the faded purple and pink? Thank you. You do too? Yeah, I think it's pretty too. A lot different than doing... Y'all know I always stick with like black or brown.
I got hair sticking out. Oh, did I read it wrong? The braids look lovely. Some do. Oh, some people do hair and they have the hair sticking out. The <laughs> Thanks, mama. Oh, we're oh we wanted to ask you too, Brooklyn. We're in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. Where are you? Um, how many hours difference? I know we have a huge difference, but I'm not sure. But most of our family is in the island, South America, Saint Lucia, France. Well, not France. Um, France. Saint Martin, they're yeah, they're they're basically not here. <laughs> so that's our our goal is to go see them. We were actually talking about um over the weekend about well for my mom going back, but for me, <laughs> me moving for the first time ever. We don't know. It's up in the air right now. The whole moving. Different country. I'm more steering towards. Yeah. Are you trying to move to Barbados, Annabelle? That's a beautiful place, too. I have never left the country. I'm so excited. And we have family in the UK. Like, <laughs> just everywhere. I felt myself pulling some hair from somewhere, y'all, but I don't know. I read that wrong, Mom. I, I, seen, I seen it afterwards. Yes, it's the island of the Caribbean. We're neighbors of Aruba. I missed it. Thank it. I just pulled it out too. She said, um, did I say it right, Miss Emmy? Curaso or Curaco? Curaso? Yeah, she said her neighbors of Aruba, and I don't want to say that one wrong either. Bonaire? This one. Bonaire. They probably got some pretty waters and everything. You're in Spain? Brooklyn. I knew it was a... How many hours is that? It must be like almost a good 12 because it's usually like nighttime whenever we're streaming for her. What time is it over here? Over there. And we can convert the time difference. Wow. Did I catch it this time? I'm pulling again. I don't uh, think I'm pulling. Have, I know, right, Annabelle? I didn't know she was all the way in Spain. That's so crazy. Yeah, I knew it had to be somewhere in a whole different country. Because the sun just now be setting and she be going to bed. Yep, St. Martin. How long does it take me to do my hair? It depends. Something like this. Excuse me. I always tell y'all it takes me a lot longer on the stream. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm like <laughs> trying to read the chat. I'm talking to y'all. Checking the batteries. Making sure everything's going good. But it just depends. Something like this, if I wasn't on the stream, honestly, maybe like, no, not no two hours. I'd say like four, yeah. Because I'd be like taking snack breaks and stuff, y'all. Y'all know I, I like to eat. <laughs> um, Where am I? It's too hot. right, Girl, it's too hot right now here, too. I mean, here with the fan on, all kind of stuff on. <laughs> it 
isn't it healthier in the care oh yes healthier living mom did not get all the issues that she has right now until she moved here <laughs> And I know I don't really talk to y'all much about this a little personal, but I know I don't talk to y'all much about um, how mom got better. Believe it or not, um, for those of y'all that don't know, mom did have cancer. They had her on chemo for three months. She got so, so sick. And then when she got to a point where like she legit looked deadly, I legit tell her that all the time. She looked like she was on the verge of death. Something told me to just... Help me um, do that one. I can't feel it with this up there. Um, When she got to that point, I was like, you know what? Let's go back to our roots. <laughs> like, I remember all the way down to like once a month. My mom used to give us something called, is it Cerasy? Or Cenapad. We used to call it um Senna. But she used to give us that. It's like this like herbal kind of mixture tea, oh. detox tea in a sense. But she made me drink that as a kid, like, once a month. Like, she called it, like, oh, you need to clean out <laughs> from all the toxins and stuff. And I'm like, why haven't we been using any of this stuff anymore? So, right when she got that sick, I was like, you know what? Let's go back to our roots. And I got her on this, um, like, a raw vegetable fruit type of diet. Yeah. We didn't do any meat, any fish, none of that stuff. She was eating mainly like a plant-based diet and these little juices, these Arden Gardens juices, and it was all like fresh fruits and veggies. And it's like, if my mom was back home, she would legit be like eating things like this. She wouldn't be eating the crap that we have here at all. But it's definitely healthier living. <laughs> they don't even work as hard as we do here. And then the food markets and stuff, like, from what I've heard, because y'all know I haven't left the country, but from what I've heard, it's a whole lot healthier. Your know, mom was saying uh, um, stuff about milk and stuff. She said she never really seen, like, canned food and stuff. <laughs> and, like, the fish, bagged up fr um, fish. To get all their stuff fresh. I feel like I'm still going to say it wrong. Oh, eight, I think I just read that, right? The eight hours difference. She says the eight hours difference. Yeah, that's a big difference. Almost a cool 12. So it's almost 11 over there. Sudasa. Look, y'all not about to laugh at me try to say that. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Say it wrong. No, I did have a lot of pets though. I had uh two dogs in the past. I had a Chihuahua and then I had a mixed dog. I'm not really sure what he was. We like to say that he was a current terrier. But I had two pups. And we still get to see the big one, too. Yeah. We love animals. Well, dogs, to be particular. My battery died. Yeah.
Okay, we back, y'all. We back. <laughs> y'all know how my thing does. My uh battery. I might have to get me a third battery to really make this work. Because by the time this finishes charging, I mean, by the time this next battery dies, the other one won't even be finished charging. I knew my research was correct. A raw food diet, girl. I'm telling you, that's the new way of living. This might be way off. I can't really tell this part, but it's fine because we're getting closer to the top. It's going to be covered. Yeah, 2.54, 3 o'clock, yeah. It felt kind of big. Yeah, that raw food diet is something serious. She don't like it, though. I had to fight with her to get her to <laughs> eat like that. But she has so much energy. She would go for her chemo. That was what, the whole day, mom? The whole entire day. Before I got her on that diet, she would come home like so tired and groggy and nauseous and not eat anything. When I got her on that diet, she was just fine. Her hair was, y'all already saw that, but her hair was holding on for dear life with that, <laughs> with that veggie juice. I know it could be kind of hard, especially when you're used to like spices and herbs and stuff. It's nearly three here. So a six hour. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. Oh, yeah. She's doing better now. She's doing so much better now. I think it's been about. A year, right, Mom? A year? Two? That's what you said? Yeah, so she's been, it's been a year since she's had the um, cancer and chemo. Two years, she said two years. Y'all know I'm not good with no dates and time. <laughs> She's good now. Thank y'all. Aw. They said we always need Mama Brown around. <laughs> she said Mama Brown ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that was tough. Super, super tough. But that was a good, like, three almost four years now is just like recovering from all of those years of surgeries and all kind of stuff finances everything you call this straight annabelle <laughs> i'm trying I'm just feeling around. I was parting in the front where I could actually see, but now I'm just feeling around because I don't have a clue. Can you have a break and use? Almost oh, definitely. Miss Emmy, I'm obsessed with travel and overseas and everything. I'm most definitely going to look it up. I even had this crazy spontaneous idea of like next year when everything's like back in order that I could possibly like travel the world for like six months or so. <laughs> Just save up and make it make it happen. Mm. 
I want to travel so bad. I know the feeling. <laughs> oh, yes. Medical in America. Something serious. You'll be on your deathbed and they be asking you. So um, how are you going to pay again? I think that was like the most toughest part of it. It's like dealing with someone that in your head you are already starting to feel like they are dying and then every everybody wants to be paid <laughs> your rent is still due car insurance car payments like everything is still due that was super tough and it sucks because you work all these years you pay all these all this money in taxes and you get treated like that when you become sick You can qualify. That's crazy. My godfather was telling us that when she got super, super sick, he's like, just come down to, um, what was that, London? I think he was in the UK at that time. He's like, come down here. He's panicking because it was starting to get really, really bad. Like, those bills were adding up. He's like, you need to just come down here. America is just too hard. I feel like there's a lot of opportunities and stuff like business opportunities a lot of things that you can get done here but lord it's tough yeah most definitely miss chandra most definitely that's the way I, I just had to kind of look at it I was I don't even want to say depressed because I'm not even really sure if it was depression but that was so so tough <laughs> but the moment we started like looking at it different <laughs> and try to think of it as like there's a lot of as crazy as it sounds there's a lot of positive things that came out of mom being sick like we got so much closer I ended up like quitting my job because I wanted to be around her and stuff a lot more like I, I cherish family so much more than I ever did when she got sick <laughs> a lot of stuff happened and then when I started being like feeling comfortable enough to be open about it on here with you guys I feel like we were helping a lot of people <laughs> a lot of people that had been in similar situations or had parents that, that were dying as well so it was definitely a blessing <laughs> in disguise mommy is strong and always will be oh she definitely is oh yeah them er's are they're terrible especially if you don't have insurance and they treat you like dirt for not having insurance too it's like the price for it, like insurance right now like oh my god self-employed insurance is even worse they were quoting me almost $600 just for like basic insurance, just to get like normal checkups. Almost definitely. Yeah, that'll be a good class to take too. The health and stuff. Okay, Annabelle. We're probably well, I don't even know if we'll be hanging out here, but if I don't miss you, if I don't get to see you again, I'll see you on Monday if you stop by. Mom said pick her up something, Annabelle. <laughs> Look, we placing orders. <laughs> yes, that ambulance fee is ridiculous. 
Yeah, they used to tell her that all the time. They'd be like, ma'am, you drove yourself here? Yes. Nobody paying that kind of money for no ambulance. Yeah, Miss Chandra, six hundred dollars, six hundred, and you know, like how they have like the affordable plans. That was the affordable one. Like I thought it was a mistake, and then I see another YouTube girl. Um, I think that was her first year self-employed too, and she said the same thing. They quoted her the exact same number they quoted me per month, and that's like basics. Like you still have like fifty dollar copays for like the ER and stuff, but they said it's be. What'd you say, Ma? Yeah. They don't even do half the stuff they charge you for, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was wrong. Mom even thought it was wrong too. She's like, there's no way that's six hundred dollars. But they said it's because um when you're self employed, you're you're paying your own premium and stuff versus your employer, so Whew. It's something serious. Brooklyn always wants some. Then she talking about Taco Bell on Friday. Who said Taco Bell Friday? We ran out of hair, ma'am. What you be getting from Taco Bell, Brooklyn? I used to like the um. The soft taco, soft taco supreme with sour cream. That used to be my thing. Yeah, I don't really mess with the sour cream no more because of the dairy. Y'all know me, lactose. <laughs> and I try to stay away from the meat and stuff now. Well, fast food meat. But that was my favorite. I had it every single day after school and for lunch. Yeah, we made um chicken. Well, my mom made chicken tacos yesterday. She made some chicken breast, shredded it up, and we had little chicken tacos. That was so good. Oh, and she did this new technique. Not that y'all really care, but y'all know I'm a foodie. But she did this new technique where she, um, you know, like when you're cooking chicken and you check it by, like, stabbing it or whatever with the knife? She stabbed it and put the bell peppers in there, in the stabbing. How you be doing it, Mom? Y'all, I be talking. <laughs> It's like, you know, like how twins be like finishing each other's sentences. I'll be talking and she'll start like mouthing what I'm saying. Like, you don't even know what I'm about to say. <laughs> and she do it with the TVs too. Yeah, that was good. Is that stuffed chicken or no? I said, is that like stuffed chicken or no? Yeah, it's somewhat. But I'm just putting it in certain spots now. Look, now Brooklyn got everybody wanting Taco Bell. Miss Chandra wants some Taco Bell. <laughs> you have to sit there in self care. And oh, yeah, Lil Rod got bit and kept bleeding from our dogs fighting. I used some bentonite clay <laughs> activated charcoal and it stopped. Oh my God. Mamas be like, ain't nobody got time for that bill now. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about that too. That um when you go to the ER, do you do y'all see the amount of people that's in there for like common codes? Like what happened to the days when we used to just make like some Campbell soup or something? Or some mint tea, yeah. If it's not too life or death, or it could wait till your actual doctor's appointment. Yeah. Well, I mean, in general, like beyond the codes. Because they be in there for little cuts and burns, too. Pine needle tea, you heard of that, Ma? Pine needle tea? I never heard of that one. Mom said she heard of it, but never had it. I never heard of it. The cheesy nachos and spicy burritos. That sounds so good. I don't know about the cheesy, but that spicy burrito sounds so good. Love me some spices. We done with this section, y'all. I just got to do the ends. I'm going to do those off camera. 
But that's what that's looking like. Our little single braids in the back. And then these will flow on top, but I just got them up here chilling for now. <laughs> Mama Brown got to cook for me sometime. Oh, she'll be more than happy to. She loves cooking for people. She loves her somebody that can eat. <laughs> That's mother's intuition. <laughs> Y'all never heard of that. It sounds like something good, though. What does it do for you, the pine needle tea? Yes. The paper cuts and common codes. Like, if you don't go home, get you some tea, some Vicks, rub down your chest, put it down, you know, your little forehead and stuff. <laughs> Let me flip this camera, y'all, so I can work on the other side. Flip the mic. I said camera. <laughs> Might have to wheel this chair on the other side. I got this little computer chair holding all the hair for me. Oh, I got to detangle. Y'all know I hate detangling. Exactly. Yes. They always giving you a little teaspoon of some um, ginger root <laughs> and white rum. <laughs> I used to tell my friends about it. They'd be like, your mom gives you liquor? I'm like, trust me, it's not the same. <laughs> it's home remedy. <laughs> or like the babies. I can't remember what they put on them. But like when the babies have gas, when they put that... um. Is it grape seed or something? Or grape water, grape water, something like that? They rub it on their bellies and it helps them get all the gas out and stop the belly ache. I don't know how it gets that tangled. Like, I'll detangle it off camera before I get on here and then it gets super, super tangled on its own. Oh, Miss Shonda, you know what I'm talking about? The grape water. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm missing some of y'all comments. Stronger than vitamin A, vitamin C, skin, hair, heart, blood pressure. Lord, that's crazy. Where did my comb go? Oh, thank you, Brooklyn. Y'all be loving it. I'll be ready to tuck it away. I can't part this right for some reason, y'all.
I'm struggling. And she done went downstairs. Oh, can you help me park this first one? It feels smaller. And then when I part it big, it's too big. I'm doing something wrong. This is too small, right? Why do I keep, why is it not matching the other side? May Chandra know what I'm um, about the grape water on the baby's bellies. Uh. <laughs> Good on your eyes, your bones. Um, the pine pine. She listed so much stuff. We gotta get some of that. The pine needle tea. She says good for skin, hair, heart blood, heart, blood pressure. Bones, eyes. Have I ever used a relaxer? Oh yes, girl. Almost what? I don't even know how many years I'm on now. Huh? Maybe like six or seven years natural now, I think. I cut all the relaxer out and went completely natural. Yes, Brooklyn. Insane, right? I saw people were asking me about um, donations on the gaming channel. I'm trying to wait until we're completely monetized because I'm not fooling with no PayPal <laughs> at all. She want to come and brag about her food, y'all. The camera's not there. Camera's up there. Yeah. But it's not going to focus, yeah, because it's focused on my face, I think. I think from right there. But I'm gonna get hair in it. All right. I guess so, thanks. <laughs> And so many people still, you never trusted it either? I heard so many bad stories about it, but I knew that exactly what you said, everybody trusted. And then we saw like hair extensions and stuff too. So I was like, our customers like would email us and ask us if we take PayPal. For the longest time when we just accepted credit cards, we weren't really getting sales. As soon as we got PayPal, we got a whole bunch of sales. So a lot of people live by it and trust it, but gosh they're so fraud <laughs> and then you look it up and there's so many people that are talking about it so many people are <laughs> you hungry now too <laughs> Miss Pam says she hungry she says she'll send you some no I have a, a separate channel um Brown Girls Gaming is the name of it. Brooklyn said you making her hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh. They said, what is it? Miss Chandra. They said, what is it? Chicken? I can't hear you with the music. Say it again. Oh, the chicken tacos that we had last night. But she put, um, that yellow stuff was the banana peppers. We're addicted to them banana peppers. Y'all like banana peppers? We putting it on our sandwiches. We put it on everything. The, um, hot banana pepper. Are your natural hair? Pink and purple on the ends. Look, we like twins now. You just went the opposite way. Oh, thanks, Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, I don't really promote it on here. Joey always getting on me about that. 
They're like, tell them that you have a gaming channel. I'm like, it's grown people on that channel. They don't really care much about the gaming channel. I think I've talked about it twice on here. I made the announcement when I made the channel and then that hair gnaw game. I think I talked about it. Hey, Grace, how are you? You never tried banana peppers? They are so good. If you like like a little, not really spice, like a kick. They're really, really good. A kick or a crunch. My friend, she went, um, I want to say vegan. Maybe vegetarian. I think that's vegetarian. Where you don't eat meat, but you still have like seafood and stuff. And she used to have like the sandwiches. She would just get a whole bunch of banana peppers, lettuce, and tomato. And she was just fine. I didn't understand why. But she said that the the excuse me the banana pepper gives her the crunch of like having chicken or something in her sandwich and it was so good ever since then i've been eating it on everything <laughs> y'all so hungry you mean for that mom Yeah, them chicken tacos are real good and real easy. Just grill up some chicken, cut it on up. Oh, you want to dye your hair that color now? <laughs> but in the opposite order, the um, purple and the pink at the end. That'd be cute. Oh, I see it now. You coming over, Grace? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Brooklyn coming from Spain. <laughs> Grace coming over for Sunday dinner. <laughs> Look, dinner at our house. Everybody just bring um something to drink. <laughs> Mom says she wants some white wine. <laughs> Peppers are good for you, blood pressure, cayenne pepper. Oh, we love us some cayenne pepper too. Y'all making me hungry. I haven't even had lunch for the day yet. <laughs> as soon as I finish this hair, I'm going to give me some lunch. Oh, yeah. It's super chill. It's like when I look at my analytics, there's a lot of kids on the um the gaming channel. And over here, there's a lot of people. It says 18 to 24, but a lot of people are like over 35. Maybe just because it's like mainly teaching. <laughs> now you see why I be reacted the way I do when the kids be... <laughs> going crazy in the comments <laughs> and like the racist people i'm just like i'm not used to this i have a much larger cha channel than this and the chat is usually like real calm we get trolls every now and then but yeah they really really chill over here at the brownie house <laughs> like just bring mom her white wine <laughs> Miss Emmy <laughs> Like a whole family reunion 
That will be a cool little get together. You gotta do that one day. When everything settles. Well, Brooklyn already claimed her room here. You ain't hear her last stream? It's almost there. I know. I'm so ready, but I know I know for a fact if I had eaten my food, I would not finish this hair. So I'm holding myself hostage. Finish up this hair. And then I can have me a full-blown meal. Oh, no, I have to. Yeah, Brooklyn is actually one of my mods over there. <laughs> What's the natural woman challenge? Oh, Grace said something about that. I never heard of that. What's that? No, Grace said it. Have you heard of the Natural Woman Challenge? That's why everybody's saying that. Yeah, I have to force myself to get this done. I said I was going to get it done yesterday. I ate, and then once I eat, the itis kick in, I'm gone. Yeah, I definitely would have got the itis. <laughs> You're not a mod? I thought I made you a mod. Someone was asking too when you got off stream on Friday. They said, Oh, do you need any more mods? And I was like, Oh, no, I already had three mods. Tomorrow, when we get on there, remind me. I could have sworn you were a mod over there. I know you wouldn't have the mod thing on here because I don't. I just had. Oh, okay. Mama's a, a mod over here. Um. Wow. Why you ain't never tell me, Brooklyn? You be on almost every single stream. I could have sworn y'all were mods, and now we don't have ordinary either. <laughs> Yeah, I thought she was a mod. Why you ain't tell me either, mom? Mom thought you were a mod too. Okay, just remind me tomorrow. My new thing though, between us two, <laughs> when people ask now about being mods on there, because it'd be like random people that don't even be in the streams. I'm gonna let them know to ask y'all for permission because we don't, I don't think we need any more mods. Those people are just like popping in anyway. Four years? Yes, girl. Did you cut your hair, um, Miss Emmy? Or did you just um grow it out? Did you just transition? Okay, Grace. You didn't think to tell me? As much as we talk, I just assumed that you were. I don't know why I thought you were. Yeah, I thought I did have a, a few, mama. I thought I did. But it, it does. It gets crazy wild. That channel has 300 subscribers now. Oh, my gosh. By our second stream, I was, like, making rules and stuff. I didn't think it would get that crazy because I know over here I have so many more subscribers and we just be chill. But I know it's because it's kids. Kids and then, like, the racist thing. They think just because the name of the channel is Brown Girls Game and they think 
that they can't come. Like we are so welcoming, I think. We just made the channel to show my more diversity. We try to play with darker, lighter, medium skin tone um sims and a little bit of everybody. But the racism over there is crazy. But it's a lot of fun. We have more love over there than hate. <laughs> Yeah, ordinary grinder, so we definitely could use you. <laughs> I'm gonna get on her about that too. Still, Still, yeah, I don't know if you saw her sneaking on there. I think if you choose mods, they should be people in this. Exactly. Those people come in out of nowhere. They're just like, oh, can I be a mod? Like, we don't even know you. You never even come in here. You can actually ban people and everything as a mod. I'm not going to just hand that out to random people. <laughs> but it definitely helps. A lot. I downloaded Discord on Brooklyn. I actually have it on my phone now. I just... I thought you were laughing at me. I had a feeling you were like judging my part. Yeah, I downloaded the Discord, but I don't know how to start the separate chats. I have one for, um, I think I have one for Brown Girls Game. What's wrong with it? It's wrong. That's what I told you. I knew you were looking at me. <laughs> I have one for um, Brown Girls Gaming, but I think I want to make one just for us, like the mod. Well, now you'll be a mod. I thought you were a mod all this time, but I want to make a separate chat for us so I could talk to y'all directly and then maybe like a general one and the one for um, the beauty supply store. Yeah. Oh, they definitely um troll over there. I try to keep it family friendly. That's why I'm like <laughs> trying to make rules and stuff. Because I know a lot of kids watch and I want to make sure it's something that everyone can enjoy. And we all could just be super comfortable, talk about anything, no judgment zone type of thing. But it's so much fun. Yeah, mommy should definitely join us. We stream Monday and Friday at four o'clock. I think you on the same time, right? She on the same time? It's slipping. That's too big. That's what I thought. It's too big. It feels big. It feels super large when I grip it. An hour off? Yeah, we. Sh no, no, she said we're an hour different. Yeah, that's so much fun over there. Right now, we're addicted to The Sims. <laughs> We really want to get, I can't wait till we get like GTA and stuff. I don't know if they'll let us <laughs> stream that. <laughs> I don't know how, how do they have those GTA channels y'all? With the, all the drug references and the cursing and stuff. I don't even know. The GTA looks like a lot of fun. Yeah. And we want to get um Between Us 2. Is that what it's called? This Is Us? That prison game. You remember? I can't remember the name of that. We definitely want to get Two Point Hospital. Oh my gosh. I think it looks like so much fun. And then Cook Serve. Cook Serve something.
it's slipping I think it's this mic thing because I was struggling yesterday on the stream too your first stream was a bitty supply the good old memories that was our first build on there right I think our first live build that was our first one. Oh, that was so much fun. I can't wait to start working on those episodes too for the beauty supply. Are you big chop, Miss Emmy? I miss my big chop. I miss the feeling of a big chop. What? It's slipping? I already started taking it down. I thought it was slipping. You're making me so nervous, Mom. Um. I'll never get Sam and Rod off. Hey, Sam. Hey, Rod. We miss y'all. Yeah, they all watching. <laughs> I'm still pulling? Okay. Yes, Two Point Hospital. Oh, my gosh. That thing. And I think it'll be so much fun to stream because that's mom's actual profession. Like, she'd be so into that. I played GTA when it was on, um, I want to say, like, PlayStation 2. <laughs> Before it was, I don't even think it was online back then. You just kind of played. It wasn't online. That's what I thought. It was just, you just play it by yourself. I can't wait to get it though. And they got all those mods and everything. <laughs> she said she can't wait to see what happens with Athena and Kennedy. I can't wait for y'all to see it either. I said I was going to work on it today. And then I got stuck doing my hair. I'm so behind. I don't even know if I have a video for today. Today? Mm, is it unraveling? I might work on getting actual work done today. When I finish with this. Look at little Rod. We miss y'all. <laughs> oh, mom said, how's Big Rod's health? I miss y'all. We used to have so much fun. Eating all that food. <laughs> no, I, no, I was thinking back. No, all of us at the church. We could eat, honey. We ain't have much up in there. <laughs> and we figure out how to make everybody eat. <laughs> oh, Annabelle's back. Hey, girl. Hey. Was it her that went to the store? Oh, Annabelle, Mama want to know where her um her stuff is <laughs> from the store. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Yeah, we get on there every Monday and Friday, 4 o'clock. And right now, we're on this little four-hour stream thing. So, we be in there for a good amount of time. Oh, it's a YouTuber that started that um that challenge. Okay, I'll look at it. If you do Two Point Hospital, Mama Brown should be in it. <laughs> yeah, that is so up her alley. She said his legs went down. You must see. Be so happy. Aw. Oh, that's good. 
She said, that's good. Yeah. Now we just gotta get y'all to start these businesses. These food businesses. What you doing, Rod? She says, still some work, but God is good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's real good. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be a grandma? Twice. <laughs> no, I think three times. No, four. Oh, all the kids together. Mm hmm How is the oldest one doing? What's with his life? I don't remember his name. I'm trying to remember it, too. Anthony? Yeah. She said, how's Anthony doing? I can't wait to get Two Point Hospital, though. It's going to be lit in there. She just braided my ends, y'all. Y'all know I'm just going halfway. <laughs> she said he getting his act together. You ever know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> she said, mm hmm, that's why I asked about him. <laughs> she said, it's okay, be the grandma. Six? You are lying. So you like grandma, mama, mama. She said, she got six by aunt. <laughs> Three by Sorry. Becca. That's nine. But they already got a big family too, though. Yeah. I was expecting that. Like you ain't got to worry about the gen the generations dying off. She said, "Y'all still live the same place." <laughs> she said yes <laughs> to the six. <laughs> That's funny. My partner, right, ma? I'm getting hot. Thanks, Brooklyn. Oh, they moved to the 70s now. Mm -hmm. So close to done. And I'm getting hot and hungry. And I know this camera's going to die soon. But at least I'm almost done. I told you how that works. It's charging, but by the time this one dies, that's not going to have enough time to fully charge. So it'll just, they'll keep dying on each other. I think I need a good, like, three or four batteries to really make that work. It takes like an hour and a half to charge. Oh, 47. She said 47, <laughs> not the 70s. Look, mom said the 70s. Oh, there it is. If it cuts off, y'all, I love y'all. <laughs> and I will see y'all in the next video. I got something popping up. I think that's just the temperature, though, right? Like it's overheating.
Okay, so the camera's overheating, y'all. I have it right at the window, though, for y'all to be able to see me with this good lighting. It's probably overheating. It probably shut off. See, I was thinking about the battery. That might actually be what's draining it so fast. The sun. But it, it dies like that regardless. When I'm, like, filming off stream, it dies every couple of... Every hour or so. Are you promoing Grace? After we just talked about um, trolling or what's going on? It's a nice place and y'all love it. That's good. That's real good. I know y'all was having problems at the other place. I I have a fan on in here. Mama, I like y'all don't I don't think y'all be knowing how hot it is out here. I could have like yeah. Like I thought Missouri was hot when we first moved there. Out here is like a whole nother level. But I have a fan right here. This little mini fan. And we usually have the air on. I have a fan under the laptop. Like it's just so 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 hot. Yeah. Love you too, Brooklyn. Hi, Brooklyn. And she's saying if it does cut off. I have a feeling it is, though. I don't know. I don't know the signs on this thing, y'all. It just shows a little thermometer, so I would assume it's the temperature. Oh, that's what that is? I think these two were together. Yeah. A lot of shooting. That's everywhere. Yeah. Are you gone, Brooklyn? Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye, Brooks. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably be off in a few minutes, too. That's why a lot of gaming places keep it cool. So, I don't, yeah, I want to get a PC built at some point. And now I see how important those fans are. Getting all those extra fans to keep it cool. My laptop be overheating. Everything in the other house was messing up. The owner lost the house and other. Dang. What's up with all these little slumlords? She said everything was messing up in the other house. And then he lost the house and the others. <laughs> that tell you enough about them. That's crazy. A lot of people want to get into real estate and they don't really want to invest much. They just see it as a get rich quick scheme. <laughs> But that's good, y'all out of there. Could be somebody else headache. But I'm basically done. This is great. I just got this little section up here. Make that a little bun. Just got this little teeny section. It's probably like two rows there. And then it's got to finish out the ends and stuff. Whew, fingers crossed, y'all say a prayer that this lasts me a good amount of time. But it don't even seem like it's starting to cool down. We about to be in, what, October? And we still in the 90s? Like, this is crazy. Yeah, at night is freezing. <laughs> freezing.
when I'm braiding hair, it kind of frizzes up. Do you have any tips for me? Because your braids are... Oh, Jill. Excuse me. Hold on. Excuse me. If y'all heard that, I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> um, I'm using the Jam Shining Hold. You could use any kind of... um. Like a holding gel, but not like a super strong hold. This one says mega hold, but it's a moisture gel. And we all know jam is not that strong. But I usually use something like this or I'll use um, water, like spray it down with some water, mix it up with product. But just like add in the, ja the jam or the gel as you're braiding. That way it can like mold it down flat. And then especially the ends, like where your own natural hair ends and the braiding hair begins definitely get those ends with some jam some type of holding gel this one is owned by a bank in the neighborhood too quiet <laughs> look we be saying that complain about your neighborhood while you're there and then you move into somewhere quiet and you be like it's too quiet now <laughs> that's how it was when we moved to missouri from maryland we was like uh-uh they be sleeping with their doors and windows open, like, uncomfortably quiet. Now you can't pay us enough to be in a busy neighborhood. Thank you. Yeah, I like this. I like it too. This is my first time using this one. I like it. Yeah, but this one is their new one. It says, oh, I didn't even read that. It's ha this one has coconut and avocado. It says it's the new one. Moisture and shine gel. Yeah, I've never used this one, but I like it too. It's super um moisturizing. And it's not hard at all. It didn't flake at all. I woke up this morning with no flakes. So that's always perfect. I think I'm going to do these last. I got two here. I'm going to do these last two. And I'm going to give me something to eat. My poor tummy. So ready to eat. Yeah, they be leaving all their doors open and stuff. Like, avocado is bomb for your hair and skin. Oh, yeah. Mom said she loved Gladstone in Missouri. It was super quiet out there. But it was, it really was awkward. When we first moved there, it was like, just too quiet. Like somebody gets to arguing outside or, or get a little too loud out there. We at the window like, something's going on. <laughs> we never get action. <laughs> Who is it? Who is that? <laughs> and now we like it quiet. Oh, yes, yeah, super nice out there. It's super nice. And they got a whole bunch of land, too. And then it's not too, too country. The whole strip of stores and schools, and it's like perfect, nice and quiet, but not too country where you're too far from normal civilization oh that's one. Oh, oh i'm doing the last braid and i got one piece of hair left for the next pack how many packs have i used so far Ma? four four okay so i have four and i just need like a little bit of a fifth pack 
That's perfect. Cause I actually said I was gonna do that. I said I'm not gonna use more than four packs. And just slightly over. <laughs> be at the window like what's going on i ain't uh, what's going on let me get this action like what once every six months right <laughs> be all hyped and stuff it's not even nothing serious <laughs> Yeah, we were in Gladstone. We never had police coming for anything. That's actually so true. They had so many kids living on that block, too. In Gladstone. And it didn't even feel like it. It was our circle didn't have that. More that one house, them Spanish looking people. Uh, but the kids were never outside. They were. The little girl had her little stuff outside. I remember they used to leave all their toys outside. Uh, but it was so quiet. So, so quiet. That was a yeah, full house. Mm hmm. Four little homes and a little kill to set. But I'm done. No problem, Miss Emmy. Thank y'all for. <laughs> Keeping me company. <laughs> oh, Lord. I just got to do this off stream. And y'all know this is dying scene anyway, like I said. I'm going to take this down. Oh. Yes. Forehead come through. Forehead come through. Slick your forehead. <laughs> I just got a couple of ends. I did some of them yesterday, but I got a couple to do. Well, she got a couple to do because she seemed like she want to do it. I ain't turning down no help. It's not heavy either. And then I just got to finish out this little section. Yeah, that's smooth. Hair. Oh, my bad. I forgot you were braiding. I'm all flipping and stuff. <laughs> But yeah, that's it, y'all. I'm going to have the little edited version for my uh my people that don't have time for no, what is it, a total of six hours? Something like that? Four hours? Um, What am I missing? What am I missing? The neighbor caught someone fire. It smelled like <laughs> sulfur yesterday. <laughs> We was wanting something to see, but let down real quick. That's funny. We post daily on the um, gaming channel. Daily on the gaming channel streams Monday and Fridays, 4 p.m. And right now we're doing like these little four-hour streams, so like four to eight. Mondays and Fridays. Mama and you be glowing. Oh, thank you, Mama. Thank you. I think we gone. We gone, ma. Look, she ready to leave too. But I love y'all so much. Thanks for joining me. Bye, y'all. And I promise, I know I always say it, that I'm going to make this like a habit to stream more. But I'm definitely going to do that. Because with the gaming channel too, it's like a lot. <laughs> a whole lot. But it's a lot easier. And instant feedback and I can always like edit this footage later for like an actual content video but for the other 11 people that are like lurking thanks for joining us as well thanks mama for always coming through miss Emmy I think everybody else then turned out okay we'll see you all right love y'all be safe and enjoy the rest of your Sunday and the rest of your weekend I'm gonna give me something to eat I'm ready to eat. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye.